his post that he put up. And the part that I want to focus on is where he says towards the bottom, this is my family and my representation. He says, I have standards and morals to what I believe. I'm going to be honest with y'all. This is where the brother lost me. At the end of the day, you know, the brother and Kiki have a child together, got a baby together. But I have a problem with the young man coming on here saying his standards and morals. But yet you you had this baby out of wedlock and then you didn't marry this girl. So I'm like, what standards and morals are we talking about? So that's that's my problem with this young fella. It's like, man, if you decided that you wanted to have a child with this young lady, and uh, you know, I'm not saying if he was right. Well, I'm gonna leave that right where it's at. But if you decided <laughs> that you wanted to have a child with this young lady, why why you ain't married this girl and have a child? True. Yeah, because at the end of the day, if she wasn't talking about getting married, then why are you having a child with her? No. So I'm like, brother, right there, you just went wrong. Let me call it what it is. That's where you went wrong, brother. Yeah, but then after you have the child with the young lady, now you want to get on here having a problem with how she, how she out here acting. And that's backwards. Because, see, you should have married this young lady. Y'all had y'all child together. Then you would have established your structure, and that's what it would have been. But, see, you tried decided to do it totally backwards. So now you got to deal with the repercussions. Yeah, but this would be my problem with some of these young fellas out here. This is why I always call on the fellas that, that we got a lot of stuff to clean up. Yeah, this situation is totally backwards. Let me call it what it is. Old girl does not respect you, bro. Yeah, but this is why you shouldn't even been sitting down having a child with this young lady. Yeah, if she out here doing her Hollywood thing, let her do that. Yeah, if she want to be over here slow grinding with Usher, let her do that. But because you didn't go about this process right, but then you want to come back and reference standards and morals. You done messed up, man. Yeah, but this is why I say, fellas, we got a lot of work to do. See, we got to stop doing this old nilly willy type of stuff like this. Yeah, this mess always comes back and goes south. Yeah, I'm not saying that this young man and, and, and Kiki can't raise this kid to, to be a productive kid in society and all of that. I'm not saying that at all. Yeah, but you can't come back talking about standards and morals and you literally went against the standards and morals. Yeah, that don't work. And then two, just based on the video that we saw, now we got to question her standards and morals. Yeah, because at the end of the day, she is a mother. She does have somebody that she has helped create that has to look up to her as a, a role model, as somebody to follow, as somebody to emulate. And like, you know, to Chloe's point, these videos, they don't go away. This footage does not go away. It's going to be out here. Yeah, this child may have to, to endure this footage later on in life outside of decisions that this child could even make. Yep, so as the mother... I got to question her morals and standards. So, yeah, man, this this whole situation is just it's, it's, it's all it's all backwards. Yep, I understand where the young fella is coming from, because at the end of the day, he's probably still looking at it like this, my lady. Yeah, this is my lady. This is the mother of my, my child. I don't want her out here like this. Yeah, but like I said, what I would tell the young fella is, is, man, if that's how you want to go about it, I'm not mad at you, but you got to execute differently. 
So I'm going to stop there for now, man. I'm going to get some of these, these comments real quick. Um, let's see. Donovan said, baby lockdown movement. Yeah. You know that's in play, Donovan. <laughs> he said, it sounds like he wants to hold some lifestyle. <laughs> man, Donovan, you something else, man. <laughs> let's see. But baby mama on her mission. Man, she is. Definitely is. But yeah, man, I got to... Like I said, I got problems with this thing all around. We kind of touched on this a little bit last night, but I got to circle back. I got to circle back. And I got to call out the ladies for a minute. So like I said, we all know this topic done, done blew up. It's everywhere. All up on Instagram, shade rooms. It's everywhere. But I see a lot of ladies in the comments. Um defending kiki if i see a lot of ladies in the comments defending her outfit i see a lot of ladies in the comments defending her her booty cheeks out here yeah but i'm trying to understand what's what's really good Yeah, so my question to the ladies out here, I know we got some, some female viewers out here. My question to the ladies is, ladies, keep it a buck. Is there ever going to be a point where one of y'all fellow sisters going to do something that's out of pocket? Let's just keep it a buck. She's going to do something that's out of pocket, and y'all going to call her on it. Yeah, to the ladies that's watching right now, drop a comment. Is there ever going to be a time when one of y'all sisters is going to do some out-of-pocket stuff and y'all going to call her on it because it was just, it was wrong? No. You say no. no. What, what, what's up with that? No. Because I don't know if you've been paying attention, but the last few um, situations where women have been called out, like the young lady who snatched literally physically snatched the microphone out of the woman's hand at the graduation right 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 and i don't know if you i know you read her statement i don't know who all who's watching if they read her statement but it says something like i'm a black woman almost and the way she said it almost like i'm a black woman who's going to tell me i'm wrong who gonna mm. check me bro? exactly that i say that all the time vince because it's so true Black women in general, obviously I'm not speaking for every single black woman, but black women in general have this attitude of who going to check me. I'm a black woman. I can say whatever I want to say. I can wear whatever I want to wear. I can do whatever I want to do. And you ain't going to say nothing about it. And if you do, I'm going to shut you down. Black wow. women are out here getting people's YouTube channel shut down, TikTok sh shut down, uh, losing their jobs, canceled. And so they think they stuff don't stink. Mm. They think if they get together and they all get on one accord that they can make stuff happen. And it's usually negative because they're not out here getting together to do nothing positive. Mm. That's it's wild. It's to co-sign this crap. That's what it is. That's why I told you, look at the, you can go find the most ridiculous situation that we've had in the last two months go find it go find the most ridiculous situation if it's if it's been men women it don't matter go find the most ridiculous situation on social media whether a celebrity or a regular person it don't matter go find the most ridiculous situation you can find that somebody has posted about and then go straight to the comments. I guarantee you the first comments you're going to see is a black woman talking about how should nobody be judging and, and we can do whatever we wanted to do and it ain't none of your business and mind the business that pay me. I guarantee it. I bet you money because all black women, black women in general do is co-sign this foolishness mm. because somewhere along the way we have we became the gatekeepers. We can't figure out how to get our own community together as black women. We can't figure out, we can figure out how to be boss bees, but we can't figure out how to maintain a family structure. 
man, woman, child. We can't figure that out, but we can go and police everybody else and tell them when they wrong, when they not wrong, what they should stand up for, what they should sit down and not say anything about who's judging who. We can do that quick, but we will not get on call when it's when it comes for standing up for our community for something that's going to advance our community like the family structure. Mm. We're not in the comments talking about that. We're not. That's real. That's real. That's real. Yeah, I just wanted to pose that question. Let's see. Kenyatta said, let's see, my friends and I call each other out all the time. Most don't call one another out because some feel like it's a code. Mm. So wait a minute, Kenyatta. Are you trying to tell me that in 2023, the young ladies will see one of their fellow ladies doing some nonsense and they will not call it out? Because they're trying to uphold the girl code?